cat. Can you not get in the shot? All right, guys. Today we're going to be working on a normal 15 amp outlet. This outlet is actually brand new. It's about a year old, and uh, I really wanted to install a decor styled outlet into this room, which all the other outlets are now except this one. And so I painted over just being a hillbilly. And so now I'm going to show you how to transfer this into a new outlet. And this outlet and this outlet are pretty much the same except for their looks. So if you want to know how to install one of these outlets, I can get a video out that for that. But honestly, watching this is no different. Chris the cat, can you knock it off? What? The He's not in your leg. Oh, Jesus. All right, fine. Shove him down the vent. All right, so first what you're going to want to do is plug in your tester. Now, you... You might want to, if you haven't used this outlet, you could scrape off excess paint trying to get stuff in. But I know this outlet's been working because I've had this lamp plugged into it for a while. And I plug it in. Oh, jeez. And I realize the power is on, which I thought I turned off, but I forgot. So, which is good. I have the tester. Test both. As you can see, the power is on. So, do not touch any farther from there. Go down to your breaker, 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 wherever your breaker is, and turn this off. Come to your breaker, find the right breaker, which would be this one for my bedroom, and turn it toward the off position. Alright, the power is now off, and there is a light on because I got a plug-in coming from a different room to get this working. Take your tester. Plug it in. If you see no power coming to it from both of these, always check both. Then you're good. But, let's say you plug this, let's say this is the first time you plugged it in ever. You see no, nothing, and you haven't turned off a breaker, you got a problem. You need to figure out your problem before you can do this. So, that's a different issue. I'd check out other videos for that. Not by me, because I have not done that, or had that problem. So, as of right now, oh jeez, that's my window. It sounds like a dying donkey. So anyways, I know for sure the power is off. I've tested this. Read your labels on this tester. You can pick up one of these at Walmart, $4, Home Depot. Check it out. I don't know. Look it up. Take your flathead screwdriver. Link in description. Link is in the description for this device. Um, unscrew your cover. Okay, save your screw. You might need it. Oh, your cover might be stuck. Don't rip it off like a jack puppy. Being dumb. Take your flathead screwdriver. Tap around it. Get around it and slowly pop it off. Cause see, it can rip paint off. If you rip a big chunk of paint off coming out 12 inches, you're going to notice that when you put the cover on. Covers are only so big, buddies. You can't get different sizes, by the way, but you can't get one 12 inches long. Next, test it again. Never know. Yep. Yep, ball, uh, yep. So then, now you're going to want to get a Phillips screwdriver. You might notice that my screws are a bit covered up with toilet paper. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. So what you're going <laughs> to... Just, just kind of clear them out and start unscrewing. This is going to be a long process. Uh, yep, uh, while I'm doing this, I can talk to you. Um, I do got other videos. I got two videos on GFIs. If you want to learn how to install those. I do got a video on a normal outlet. I forgot about it. It's not the best of all videos. Like, you can't get a close-up of this like I did. Like I'm doing here. Chris, please settle down. You're probably making a bunch of noise. My cat's being a little... Hornet over what, here. What's your cat's name? Chris. Loser. Either or. Named it after the channel. So, and Chris is actually my name. So, that's another thing. You can see this kind of popped off like that. Also, get behind this and be easy too, because that can rip your paint too. If this outlet has been painted over, and just luckily it didn't do that. Down here it might be a hassle. Or like my other outlets, the outlets on the exterior kind of part of the house, I got caulking around them so when people might rip that off they might rip a big chunk of paint so just kind of wiggle it all right came off good pull your outlet all the way out as far as you can go easier for the public to easier for you to do it. i don't know what i'm talking about so what you're going to want to do now shut up will um look at all the screws you can tell that the white wires go into the silver screws the non-coated wire, which might be colored with white, but you can get a piece of sandpaper, sand that off, do whatever you want. Um, which is going to the green screw. Black wires go to the brass colored, or gold, whatever you want to call that. So gold, black, white, silver. 
the black this black wire is actually oh that hurts my nail um is black but the drywall mud is over it so black gold white silver it's easy just start untwisting these um since this outlet is not getting used anymore take your screws and don't stop unscrewing them just keep it going it might it'll get a little tough keep going though keep going up oh, the screw falls out whole lot easier it sure won't be easier if you got to put these screws back in though so unless you're a hundred percent sure you're not using this no more don't take the screws out and i just nicked my wall again this wall so anyways go check out more videos we got gfi videos we got normal outlet videos i got this video coming out go check out any of our other videos we got quit chewing the carpet chris we got uh painting videos which aren't the best uh we are uploading once a day now everyday uploads on this channel so check that out while you're doing this uh while you're doing this yes smart move <laughs> um <laughs> So, yeah, go check that out, guys. You might like what we do. We do smashing the stuff, getting out of it. We do got a new series, which I have not even told to the channel, which is a good time to mention that now. We do got a new series called uh, Short Films, which we have been filming since the first video ever uploaded, like, literally. And But we haven't really considered them that, and it's a lot better, and it's a good video. Um, They're good videos. They're It's ten minutes long right now. Go check it out. Anyways, I got the outlet out. No screws in it at all anymore. You can hear stuff in it. Got paint jammed in it. Not the safest outlet in the world. Take your wires. Touch them all. Make sure they're not live. I'm joking. They <laughs> should already be not be. But if you want to be the hillbilly deluxe perks person and try that out, do it. Straighten all the wires out. Make it real neat, nice, pretty, crappy, whatever you want to do. If you want to jam them all back in the wall like that and not care, you can do that. Make sure your wires are all straight. Get them organized. Black over here, white over there. White over there, black over here. Tell Chris the cat to back off a little bit. Get your new outlet out of the box. Instructions might be in the box, but you don't need instructions for this job. New outlet. Silver screws. Gold screws. Green screw. Duh. You want to make life easier? Get your pliers. Pliers. Whatever you want to call them. Cut them to, so that there is no... Actually, make sure you do not do this unless you got wire strippers. If you do this without wire strippers, you'll be like Will sitting there for 12 hours scraping a wire down. This is easier. If you got low wire, I'm sorry for you, buddy, but don't cut them down. But anyways, you got strippers. This is 14 gauge wire. Uh, you set to 14. My strippers are screwed up as heck, so I go to 16, go back down to 14, pull the coating off. But for some reason, six that's not even work. So 16. Oh, this is dumb. 16. Uh, 16, 16, and this has no coating, so you can just, yep. And then you're going to want to make a slight bend, but there is another option on these light switches, or outlets, I mean. There's little holes in the back of these. Not the safest thing to do, because they pop in and lock, and you don't screw these in. So, wiggling, this it'll pop right out. Some outlets, they don't have these holes, but they have slots right here. And it pushes in, you screw the screw in. So it's the same thing as bending them around. Do that. Do not stick these. If you see these small little holes, screw those. Screw those. Yeah. Screw those. So take these, bend them. Whatever you strip, bend them. Yep. I'm not going to say the perfect amount that you got to have because you really don't. I mean, is it better? Maybe. But do I do it? No. And does this outlet turn out good? All the other outlets? Yes. Bend all your wires. Don't bend them all the way around so you can slip them on the screw. You'll finish that as you go. Black wires on the gold screws. Take it. As you can see, it went perfectly there, so I don't need to bend it anymore. Take the screwdriver. Is that in the shot one? Nope. Screw it down. That doesn't need edited out, by the way. Uh, take both black wires. Stick them to the only two black screws. As you can see, that I don't know if you can see it. That wire didn't go perfectly around. Just keep screwing fits itself right around that's why you put them on clockwise put them on clockwise so when you turn it the wire bends around it just keeps bending this screw would actually keep screwing it keep bending so screw in all the screws with the wires on them if there's no wire going to them just screw in the screw forget about them you might only have three wires in here which would be one of these one black one white but then at other times you might have 
all six of these. You might have eight, you might have 12, you might have 20. It don't matter how many got in here. Same process. Only there's a lot more work back there. This this is actually a lot of hard work. But if you think about it, if you if this is the only thing you're doing is working right after me here, what you're doing, this is a piece of cake. I mean, after this video, you should master this as long as you watch through it a few times. So, like I said, non-coated. This doesn't have any rubber coating or plastic coating, anything on it. Goes to the green screw, which is ground. White. Go to the silver. Black to the brass. You can't stress this out enough. Now, this is a 15 amp outlet. It can be like this, which is mainly for 20 amps, how they have those outlets. 15 amps, for the most part, go like this. And I should have had it set up for black over here, white over here, so it didn't twist the wires like that. But does anybody care? So you're going to want to bend this back into the box to about right there. Then you're going to take your electrical tape with words all over it. It doesn't really matter what it is. Take your electrical tape and tape this thing carelessly. If you want to go down the sides like this, get, just get all these screws covered up like they're dangerous as crap. Because they are when the power comes on. You might be screwing this in or something one day. Or trying to fix something your screwdriver slips and it busts you. Um, honestly, I've gotten shocked by this stuff and it just feels like a bunch of vibrations. You don't like the idea of it, so that's why you get kind of scared of it. But really, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't feel like, like if, if right now if I got shocked by it, I wouldn't care. Because it doesn't hurt. Now, once you start going up in the gauges, then that might be a little bit of a dumb, dumb idea. But, I'm talking more in this video than I did in the other one. Get all these wires in here good, because... It's going to be a lot easier for you once you get these stupid things lined up. Like, like these dang wires are hard to get in here sometimes. Especially with working with higher gauge. I'm with 14.2, 12.2 is harder. It's a thicker gauge. 10.2 is probably the, hard, the thickest wire you'll use in a house for the main part. For the most part. I mean your dryers aren't... Your stove's a little bit higher. But, um, to just... It's going to be stressful when you start getting thicker gauge wiring. The thicker you go, the bigger the box, stronger the outlet, the more work. But this is just a simple outlet in your bedroom, kitchen, living room, bedroom, bathroom, whatever you want. This is a simple process, cheaper than this outlet right here probably costs, I'm just going to say a minimum. $3 is like the top amount for this, plus the cover. So this covers like 98 cents to a dollar. And if you get a normal holiday, those are 67 cents to a dollar. So you know what? You can use a drill on this process if you want. But I don't, I'm not going to because my assistant here won't go get it. And, uh, yeah. And I'll go get it. And I'm already halfway screwed in. Oh, Jesus. I got this. Oh, don't rip up this out this thing. Hold on. Okay. Alright, now that that's screwed in, make sure it doesn't move around. Um, take your faceplate, which if you're using the outlet I am using, you'll need a rectangular shaped version. This is a Levitin cover. I 100% do not like Levitin covers. I like they're unbreakable, but I don't like the texture. They're slippery. Look at this one compared to this one. It's got like a, I don't know. It, whatever, just get your cover busted open here. This is unbreakable, and this is actually a bigger size cover, so that, like, damage is, like, like I told you it might happen at the beginning. Get flathead screw driver, start screwing it in. If you start to notice that, like, this is oddly shaped around this, that might be a problem. You might have screwed in your outlet too hard, or your wall might not be straight, or your outlet might not be straight. As you can see, my outlet is actually going toward me, bent a little bit more. And the faceplate is going the opposite way. So this does this give it a weird look? Tad bit. Do I care right now? No. Where is this outlet at? Behind my bed. Do I need it to look like this? No. It's just for a video. Um, and for kind of just a match. Quit ripping on my carpet, you dumb cat. Hornet ball. Plug in your tester. Turn on the power. Come back here and check this out. If you turn on the breaker and that breaker trips, as soon as you turn it on, which will be a little... And it'll get stuck in the middle. It's no big deal. Turn it off come up here 
take this out and look at it again. Fix it, as I said in this video again, if that problem happens again, stop, call your electrician, call somebody, somebody who knows what they're doing, and take a look at it. Hey, shoot, call me. Chris will help out, because there might be a problem with your wires. They might have broken in the back. <laughs> Cat's putting trash in my air vent. I'm going to screw that in the wall while I'm getting here. So here's your outlet. Here's the finished product. Go turn on the power. Check it out. And there you go. Come to back to the breaker. Come to the right one, which was bedroom 2. Turn it back on. If this did trip to the middle section, which I cannot really do with this breaker, if it would possibly be in the middle section, that is when you have messed something up. Go check out your problems. Rewatch the video. Figure out your problems and make sure it can come all the way on. Now that the power is on, you can see these two lights are on. The lights are on, unplug it. Lights are on, good. Perfect, your outlet's done. Plug in your lamp to it. Do whatever you want with it. You can always take some electrical tape like this. And if you want, you can just kind of do something like this. Just to prove that you're never going to use this because it's behind your bed. I'm just good. Um... Now I am going to teach you about the lightings on this. If, for some reason, hold on, let's go focus for you. If on this light you do not see two yellow lights, you need to look at this labeling. One yellow light, open ground, which means that wire with no coating is not connected. Open neutral means that white, the white wires are not connected. Open hot, which means those black wires are not connected. Or you didn't turn the power on yet. Hot ground reverse, which means you took that silver, that uncoated wire, which is on the green screw and the white wires on the wrong screws. Hot neutral reverse, which means that you took the white wire and put it on the um, gold screws. Black wire on the silver screws, which is wrong. And two yellow lights, which is correct, which means you did everything right. You followed Chris's instructions, you plugged it in, and you went, oh yeah. So, thanks for watching. Um... If you need any more tips, list it in the comments. I got every electrical device I can ever show you right here on Losers Electric. Uh, so check out more videos. If you're watching the playlist, uh, there you go. There is a playlist if you're not watching it. It's a playlist of all the electric videos. Like I said, there's lots of other videos on our channel. Check out. Go check them out. Like, subscribe, favorite, and that's it.